Clement. Yes, la Look at this motherfucker! Oh, you can see him. Look at you can see his eye. This, this fucking cat. The Juan piece. The cause of the Renaissance. Esto está aburrido. Quiero aprender algo más. Oh, quieres algo más? Vamos a ver. Que es el Juan Piz? El One Piece. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's not saying a word. <laughs> That's the One Piece guy. Finally, schools teaching some useful. Dude, this class is so boring. Yo, Miss G, can we learn about something else? Actually, Sam, there is something I haven't told you yet. The Buy the Baby 7. There are four suspects for the Buy the Baby 7. Those people are afraid. <laughs> okay, that's uh, Five Nights at Freddy. You're scamming. Met this guy on a dating app and he immediately. Wait, wait a second. The Food Digger scam. He asked me out on a date to a specific restaurant. Confirm day of, I get to the restaurant oh. and see that he's nowhere to be found. So I reach out, no response. I check the app and notice that he unmatched me. At that point, I was a little confused and I was kind of pissed because I was already dressed and I got all the way there. And because I had put in so much effort, I thought I might as well just have a meal while I am in the building. Wait. It wasn't until I got home when I was scrolling Facebook and I saw Wait. a very similar... Wait, she got stood up. She she matched with a guy on Tinder and she got stood up. So she decided to eat at the restaurant by herself. Okay. ...story from a girl at that same restaurant who also got stood up. She found out that there are restaurants now posing as people on dating apps. What? Just so you go to their business... And once you get stood up, they know that probably nine times out of ten that you're going to buy something from them. What? And that no, 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 no. My, my. So she had posted two screenshots in that video, and this is the first one. The person said, don't waste your time with this one, lady. It's talking about this guy by the name of Antonio, which we believe is a bot. You can pause to read it, but in a nutshell, he told her that he had to cancel the first time. And That is next level business. I agree with you. That's like, yep. Yeah, that's actually yeah, next level business. Wow, that's crazy. And then the second time, he told her to go to this specific restaurant. She goes, he doesn't show up, so she stays and has dinner and a drink. And then that's when they went further down the rabbit hole to find out this restaurant actually had partnered up with some bot app to create fake bots on dating apps to lure women. Wow men into the restaurants so that when they get stood up there's a high likely chance that they're just going to stay and eat because why else were you going to dinner right fake bots because because some are real by the way he gets some real bots these are fake bots so it's <laughs> it's not new it's actually a phenomenon and it was first found out that it was occurring in india or the the delhi area and this guy by the name of archet gupta and i hope i'm saying his name right had posted this story time on Twitter, literally just like a week ago, and basically we used to call them golems. It's that's right, that's right, <laughs> that's absolutely right. Then we had the patch. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna oh, a little bit. Yeah, we, then we had a patch, and now they're bots. I agree. Can you just say it's pretty rad having no idea about? I I I had no idea about this stuff either. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean that's. That's fucking nuts. That's next level business. I I mean, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm all I don't use married for 12 years. I don't use social media either. That's why I, I yeah, I I'm just starting now to go on Reddit and that, those kind of shit. So yeah, I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on any of that. 
Yeah, and, and no, I, <laughs> I don't date either. If I had to date now, I'd likely be fucked like that. Yeah, I guess so. I guess, I guess me too. Same here. You don't have a social and married for 15 years. Grats. He said that he got stood wow. at this restaurant by this quote unquote girl, which he believes is a bot, and he ended up paying like 15,000 uh, rubles or whatever that converts to in US dollars. But yeah, he got stood up and then he realized this is a bot. Facebook is the work. Like, I really give two shit with Hassel from Ironton are up to. <laughs> exactly. There's a name for it. They're food diggers. And it's restaurants that partner with bot apps, right? So the restaurants create these bots across all the dating sites. Wow. All of them. Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. And they create these fake... Well, I know about Tinder, but I have no idea about Bumble and Hinge. Hinge. Y'all, this is insane. Like, I knew restaurants had it down bad, right? When nobody was going to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> but this, this is something else. <laughs> this is something else. This, but apparently it has been happening all over Reddit, all over Twitter. Like, now it's made its way here to TikTok. And if you go to r slash India, the, the entire thread, the entire thread is a bunch of men and women being... Uh, basically scammed by a bunch of food diggers across India. And really? Now it's made its way to the U.S. After a viral TikTok showed a whopping disparity between the advertised weight and the actual weight oh, of shit, a bag eh? of chips. The advertised net weight labeling on a no-name bag is 200 grams, but TikToker and unofficial investigative journalist Scrunchy Queen discovered that the bag actually... Tick and uh, and jur <laughs> wait wait investigative journalist scrunchy queen <laughs> okay okay uh huh continue way closer to 100 grams unlike this bag of chips the TikTok comments are packed and many people think the Canadian Food Inspection Agency should step up and issue a fine really yeah I noticed the the, the shrinkflation yeah shrinkflation I uh, yeah yeah. That's crazy. Wow. Some high level <laughs> called the fans for a job. Well, she, yeah. <laughs> oh. What a man. <laughs> what the? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I love that one. The guy shaking. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. Uh, Kyle, have you seen our secret weapon? The latter, yes. <laughs> Trust me, I had to watch you play with. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, that's how you vote. Good, eh? Yeah, that one is good. <laughs> I love that one. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna wipe my tears a little bit. I thought it was really funny. Okay. All right. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. Love me, love me. I know you care. You care? I shall whenever I shall be there. I'll be there. You are my love. You are my heart. Yeah. And now and never, ever, ever, ever be a part. Be a part? Be a part? <laughs> the guy doing the back vocals, he was perfect. You love this one. I love it as well. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> well, one of the best videos that, that for me on the internet are, you know, the American idols, but the bad auditions. Oh, I love them. I love them all so much. I watch this and I laugh so hard. Uh, I did it once on stream. I got hit by many copyright strike. But it was so funny.
Yeah, I watched them all. Yeah, me, me too. <laughs> Better than your Pink Floyd impression. I did the Pink Floyd impression? The other day, yeah, I can't remember what I was singing. But yeah, yeah, I love Pink Floyd, by the way. I love them. Yeah. Yeah, that one was great. And <laughs> I know they're breaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one, yeah, yeah, I remember. Help! Holy shit, that looks amazing! Oh, oh! <laughs> poor, this <is> poor guy. <laughs> Sorry, little man. <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like, look at those haircuts. <laughs> Wow, that chicken is amazing. Question is, who were first, the egg, the chicken, or the stupid girl? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And <laughs> I think this this is good. Oh, you know, yeah. I have a very uh, developed sense of humor. Yeah. No, not not really. Birds are descended from dinosaur. Dino laid eggs. Two eggs were first. Dinosaurs are fake news. Well, I have something to say, okay? It's, uh, we've been told that the dinosaurs, uh, they died because of uh, an asteroid or a comet or something that came on Earth and did a cataclysm. And that's absolutely not true. And I'm going to prove it right now. <sighs> okay, so you know that it's a, if you don't wipe yourself properly, okay, you'll see it, it's a, if you don't wipe yourself properly, you can die, you know, of infection and stuff, and see, and I gotta, I gotta show you something, I gotta show you something, okay, dinosaurs, they had very, very little arms like this, very big, but, but, but very little arms. So when they wanted to wipe themselves, they couldn't reach. I can't, I can't reach my, I can't reach my butt. So that's why they died because they have very little arms. They could not warm. <laughs> the T-Rex, not all dinos. Well, in my book, okay. It, all dinos had little arms. Uh, it's just that some were, uh, you know, more visible than others. And he's saying the dinos died of swamp pass. I don't know what swamp ass. <laughs> huh? Urban dictionary. Swamp ass <laughs> can occur during Peron. Intense physical activity, it's a condition where ass becomes sweaty, giving you the feeling that your ass is actually a swamp. <laughs> if not treated, swamp ass can lead to serious condition called duck butter. Man, what a good workout it gave me a mean case of duck butter. Well, 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 you inspire me. <laughs> All right, Gloat. Right, I'll catch you later, man. Thanks a lot for joining. The combination of sweat from the ball sack and the anus that creates a buttery film on the scrotum usually occurring usually from a non-wash scrotum. Oh my God! It's better the worsen and thicken the other by the minute. Also known as DB <laughs> or Deeb. Bobby Rob is Deeb all over his roommate pillow. <laughs> <laughs>
ساكر عماي كيتي 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 نوت وركين تشي 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 نو غاتيتو غاتيتو نو شتاردن بوردن خاردن I have to show that one to Storm. <laughs> I have to show that one to Storm. Whoop! I clicked something. Fuck. I have to show that one to Storm. Oh my god. How do you say cat in German? Ah, now we recognize himself. That's a German cat. Yeah, I gotta show that one to Storm. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving from your Banff plant-based granny. Turducken is a chicken. Turducken is a chicken stuffed inside a duck. <laughs> stuffed inside a duck. Stuffed inside a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is turkeyception. That's turkeyception. That's amazing. So it's a duck stuffed inside a chicken stuffed inside a turkey. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it, Grandma. You're a genius. You're some kind of culinary genius. Okay. The shit I've ever heard of. No. <laughs> the grossest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> we got some motherfuckers. Holy shit. Who's that grandma? Wait a minute, grandma. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna calm myself. And then I'm gonna listen to, <laughs> to what the fuck you have to say. This is gonna be the tits. This is gonna be the tits. <laughs> Huh? Turducken is a thing you can order them at the market. I use. Holy shit! It is a thing. Huh? Please don't scroll this past me to three. I'm sorry to interrupt. November eight twenty. You want me to give me to give you three dollars? Oh, and you, you get it. okay. Turducken is a dish consisting of a deboned chicken stuffed into a deboned duck, further stuffed into a deboned turkey. Outside of the United States and Canada, it's started as it's known as a three bird roast. Good duckin. Really, it's a thing. Holy shit. Calm your titties, grannies. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. So it's a real thing. Tafuken. Tafuken. We'll start with some lovely tempura. Our tofu block. Place it in our favorite marinade. Then wrap it in your favorite homemade seitan. I make my own seitan because I have no time for weak bullshit. After your turkey has soaked up that delicious god marinade, roast until it's golden brown. Chickens, ducks, and turkeys are totally If like that was done to dogs every day, please, for God's sake. Which is nothing more than a dead torture palette. Jesus f***ing. Who the hell is this? Motherfucker, go vegan. I'm gonna eat the f*** out of this. Holy shit, Grandma. I love you, Grandma. <laughs> Take the wheel. Oh my god. He left the car. Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that guy? Oh yeah. Student leaving the last day of high school 1980. Smile. What a car. Oh wow, that van. I love that van as well. Hey, it was worth it, I guess. Glad to be out. Hey, that's my truck. <laughs> They're leaving. <laughs> Wow. 
Yeah, yeah, last I don't know if you're still there, but we were to high we went to high school together. We left the same day, and when we left, I was leaving. I was leaving school in that beauty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Yep. I left high school with that. Oh, that beauty. Exactly. And oh, I think it's mine actually. Because I had the same problem with duct tape here at the exact same spot. That's not mine, cause, uh, but it's the exact same model. I had to carry duct tape to patch the roof. Yep, that's how I left high school. Well, that's that's how I left high school. With no roof. Oh yeah, motherfuckers. And it was that beautiful color. Mmm, that's beautiful. What was the brand? It's a Chrysler Le Baron. This one is 1989. Mine was 1988. Like this. Like, really like this one. Yup. What a car. Oh, he's, he's got a Walkman. A later. They all have nice cars or so. None of them know how to drive. Oh, this one is a Mustang. That's the drug dealer. That is the drug dealer. <laughs> They're all leaving on a patch like... <laughs> all of them. Because <laughs> cause back then, it, did, it, doesn't, it didn't matter. You, you could screech your tire all day long. Apple cobbler, apple fritters, okay. apples carved look. to look like critters. I've got the juice in Apple's mind. Apple watch, that's Apple time. I was born an apple lover. Bitch, I'm smooth like apple butter. Apple crisp and my oh my. Okay. Apple tarts and apple pie. pie. Apple butter, apple jelly, yeah. apple strudel in your belly. Look, apple chips, you talking apples got them. Big ass booty, that's an apple bottom. Apple pie, that's the apple tizer. Double cup full of the apple cider. Apple sauce right out of jars. Jar. Apple dumplings, apple bars. Okay. Oh, I'm tired, it's time to rest. Uh -oh. But here's the way I like the best. Ooh, that nice. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. You guys having a fantastic day here at Columbus. Uh -huh. I think it's uh, definitely good to get <laughs> nice. out of your comfort zone, check out some other neighborhoods, do some fun things, and like not let anyone tell you that, that what you like is weird and, and what you do is out of the ordinary. I think you should love yourself no matter what. Love yourself no matter what. Thanks, guy. Yep, you got my vote. Thank you, guy.